Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. It's Chrissy. I'm coming in with a kind of first impression slash product review maybe. It's something that I kind of was excited for and have been looking forward to getting for a very long time just because I've been seeing mixed reviews and I just wanted to test one out for myself because it feels like my life would be so much better if I had one. And it is the hold on, Dyson Airwrap. Is this the thumbnail? Um, yeah, I was just curious if this would work on my hair. I don't know what my curl pattern would be considered, but this is what I'm working with. This is what I currently use as a blow dryer. I was using the Revlon one, but I gave it to my niece, or actually my cousin, she's my cousin. I gave it to my cousin and now I've been using this one because I like that this one had the detached like the air wrap does, but this is the Infinity Con Air. This is what I was using, works good. But I wanna go ahead and try to do my blow dry routine are we on out of focus? Okay, we're back in focus. Um, yeah, I wanted to do my blow dry routine with the air wrap and then straighten my hair as normal and then come back in and try to do some curls with the air wrap because I've been looking more forward to the curls than anything. Um, here's the wrap right here. It's not plugged in, but it's very pretty. It feels really good in the hands. It's like almost the same color as my hair right here. It has I believe this is my firm attachment and this is my soft brush. Honestly, the soft brush feels more like the attachment that I've been using. Uh, this is the long hair edition. I would have liked to get the coarse and wavy hair edition, but they didn't have that. And the only real difference uh, um, between this one and that one is that that one comes with a comb attachment and this one comes with the soft attachment, the soft brush instead. And this one has longer barrels. So it's fine. So whenever they release the comb attachment, I'll probably just buy that and have more attachments. But if I need it at all, because I'm used to using a brush anyway. Let's, uh, oh, so I guess you put the attachments on and you have to pull down the lever to unlock. Oof. So I guess once you put your attachment in, you can lock it back up and it's not gonna come out. Really nice and secure. Um, fan speeds, temperature, on and off. And this is the locking mechanism I was talking about. Let's go ahead and try this. I'm gonna go ahead and, because I waited so long, I just washed and conditioned my hair. My hair's like kind of dry at this point. I'm gonna go wet it a little bit so we can blow dry it and go from there. I'm probably gonna section it off like I normally do. Usually I do section my hair off in four sections and then I blow dry it out. Let me wet my hair and we'll get to that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show myself getting the package unboxed and opened. I was kind of messing around with the camera angles because I'm really not used to doing like product videos anymore. I feel like, um, like unboxings this room is not the setup for an unboxing, but this is where my vanity table is, so this is where we're sitting. Um, yeah, insert unboxing footage. I'll be back when I hair is wet. This is the Dyson Air Wrap Complete. It's the long edition. I would have liked to got the coarse or wavy, but it's fine. It has the Co Kanade? I don't know. It has the smoothing dryer. The 1.2 inch air wrap with the long barrel, 1.6 inch with the long barrel, firm brush, soft brush, and volula round volumizing, Val volumizing, volumizing. Ooh, that's an interesting word. Um, the brush, and you can see it's in like this bronzy kind of color. Let's go ahead and get this box open. My box got a little beat up in transit, but I guess that's okay. 
my vanity table is a little messy, so just excuse all of that. Ooh. When you open it, there's a little case in there. Can you see it? Let's just stand it up and... Okay, so once it's out of the box, you get this really nice kind of box or the carrying case and it's just, it's the blue color. It looks kind of blue. And when you open it, it has some little QR code, some instructions and all that. Oh, on the inside. This is also a lip stain that I put on, so ignore that. These are my barrels. Ooh, that's a big brush. I'm assuming this is my firm brush. I'm actually just gonna be tossing the excess things just on the floor, because I don't need them. This is the, I guess, the smoothing, and it kind of spins around. Oh, this is my soft brush, but it's not that soft. It kind of feels the, I guess it's slightly different. This one does have prickly or more bristles, but I feel like this one feels more like the hair dryer brush that I normally use. I usually use the Revlon hair dryer brush. And then we have our volumizing brush. And I'm assuming all the barrels probably go down there this piece goes down there or do they all that's probably fine put that out really long cord Pretty. It's really pretty and shiny. Wow. And I'm assuming, oh, this is just the little cleaner. I guess you can clean your barrels out with it. Uh, what did I do with the barrels? Like for this one, like for example, I guess you could just kind of go like this and kind of clean them off, I'm assuming. There you go. And then we also have a little instruction manual. There you go. Okay, we're back and we're giving a sideshow Bob. Okay, it's wetter now. I'm gonna go ahead and close the bathroom door. It's like dripping water everywhere. Whew. Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna section this off into four parts. And I like to use my little ratty ponytail holders because they're ugly. Now I've been seeing a lot of like mixed reviews for this. I feel like a lot of people, like when I go to watch a video, I'm trying to look for someone who has like super thick hair, really curly, like I know my hair probably isn't as thick and curly as theirs, but I feel like my train of thought is all right, if it works for them, it'll work for me, is my train of thought, but it's kind of hard to find a good video for that. I'm getting water everywhere. <sighs> my nails are so chewed, like my polish is lifting, so my hair keeps getting caught in the polish, 
So I probably at some point need to do my nails. We're all sectioned off. Oh my gosh, my polish is like completely coming off. Put a little leave-in conditioner in my hair. And a little bit of Jamaican castor oil. That's the only products I use in my hair now. Okay, here's the test. Let's see if we like it. We're gonna, it's on high speed, the highest heat. Let's turn it down to the middle heat and the highest fan. My hands are slippery. Okay, so let's try drying off the product because my hands are wet. Oh, it's the filter. All right, we're doing highest heat and Honestly, I feel like it got my hair as normally as straight as I get it with the other blow dryer. And this bottom right half of my head is probably the coarsest section of my head. And it got it pretty straight. Pretty straight. And it's nowhere near as hot. Like my other blow dryers get so hot where I can't even hold them. Like at the tip, like right up here, they get so crazy hot that I'm like having to like take my hands off. And not that much hair came out, just. Can you see? This much. And I don't detangle my hair when I wash it. I just wash it and However it dries, it curls up. I don't have to detangle it. I usually detangle when I'm drying. So this is my detangling phase. So not that much. Yeah. So this is nice and straight. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a bun and then we're gonna move on ooh, to the next side of my head. One thing I did notice when it was blow drying is that I kept feeling like my hair was being pulled into it or it was like being attracted into the brush. So it's like doing some sort of sucking motion, but also blowing. I don't know. I kept feeling some something like hair was kind of being pulled into it. And I also like that the bristles kind of move. What's the benefit to that, please? All right, moving on to the next section. I can't tell if it's got to storm outside or people are just being loud, but I keep hearing stuff out there. I, now I'm hearing wind, so maybe it is storming or about to storm. Something's happening out there. Now this side of my head is the bottom left. This side is a little bit looser in curls. Can you guys hear that wind? Anyway. Okay, so yeah, this side is the looser in curl and you can see how straight it got. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear that wind out there, but it's getting crazy. Sirens going now. I had to 
go out there and check and yeah it's uh quite heavy raining out there all right next section done and I wanted to leave and go get a slushy when I got done doing my hair, but I'm not going outside in that crazy rain. I guess I'll be uh, not having that slushy. Truly, truly sad about that. All right, last section. This side, I like just to apply a little bit more oil and everything in the front just because I have that dyed section and I would like to protect it a little bit more. So I am being a little more kind to this patch of hair in the front of my head. All right, we are fully blow dried. Now, just out of curiosity, I want to try to use one of the wrappers, one of the little barrels. I want to try I want to try using a barrel with my hair not flat ironed, just blow dried straight. I'm just curious. Let's do the kind of front section cuz it's like right up here. Let's see what happens. And I want to do one of these instead of one of these pieces because this hair has already been kind of put in a bun. It's going to have a slight wave to it. We're going to... Yeah, it's like kind of hot. All right, we're going to pull off the little barrel piece. Pull off the attachment. Let's do... Let's do kind of a skinnier curl. learning curve all right I need to figure out how the curl is curling okay oh you can decide there's a little turner thing on the sides so you can decide which way you want your curls to go look how interesting that is how it just fully wraps up in there like that and then I guess you do a cool shot and oh, wait I mean it's not a perfect curl but look at that it like curls in huh well, let's try it again on like a longer piece of hair This one's only slightly longer because the pieces in the front of my head, I kind of cut because I wanted them to kind of like be at an angle. Let's try that again. Okay, you can see I need to get a little bit more less sloppy with my curls, but you can see it's kind of curling. It's not doing that barrel curl thing, but again, this is just blow dried hair and honestly, this is what I like my hair to do. I just want it to kind of frame my face in the front. I feel like for hair that is not fully straight, I mean, we gotta manage our expectations here. I, I'm digging this. Ooh, this one's more of a curl. But this is also like, I can feel it and it's, this piece of hair already is like super straight. Yeah, so this is like hair that's not as coarse, so it didn't take much to really straighten. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron my hair and then I will be right back and we're gonna try uh, using the little barrel attachments on flat ironed hair and see what kind of vibe we can get going here um i also need to just learn how to use this device i should probably while i'm flat ironing my hair i'm going to be watching some tutorials and different videos see what everybody else is doing because i know there's a little bit of a learning curve to using the wrap but so far i'm impressed i mean i never wear my hair just blow dried 
anyway but it did what it was supposed to do i feel like and it's like a two-in-one but i'll be right back i'm i'll be right back i know i just keep talking it is several hours later probably like maybe one to two hours one and a half ish hair is flat ironed and honestly I don't know, I feel like it feels kind of different, but it may just be in my head because I did do a really good deep conditioner this time around when I washed my hair. So I really can't tell if it had anything to do with the air wrap, you know, it might just be in my head. It may just be I did a really good job conditioning my hair. But now that it's straight, let's go ahead and try to curl the hair with the barrel. I'm gonna use both barrels, but right now let's go with the this bigger one. Oh, the skinnier one. I think this is the 1.2, and then this one is the 1.6. Let's uh I don't know it's not really doing a Shirley Temple curl it's just doing like kind of like a nice kind of wave in that it was doing before maybe I'm supposed to section it off I confession I didn't watch any tutorial videos while I was sitting here I was watching um, I was watching videos on YouTube instead so but I forgot I got distracted and was just on YouTube enjoying myself. Also, I kind of noticed that it's smoothing. Okay, there we go. I'm also thinking maybe I should turn it off before I just pull it back out because I think I'm just kind of messing it up. But, oh, oh, look how pretty. Oh, so cute. That's so pretty. There I go, I'm learning. I love when you have that kind of like, like I don't know, a little fake curtain in the front. Let's see if I can do the same thing on this side. That's like such a cute look. Oh, I feel so pretty. Ooh. Oh, this one's going in the other way. Maybe I should. Like it's doing really cute. Like could you imagine if I pulled the hair out to the front and then I have like this cute little situation right here? I'm liking it. Let's see if... Because my issue with my hair is once I flat iron it, I put it in like little bantu knots and it gets that little bit of shape throughout the week from the little bantu knots that I sleep in. But sometimes my hair just looks really flat and I just want to have a little bit more shape. Let's try it with the bigger barrel. I notice I keep using the, the skinny one, but I just want my hair not to be so flat in between washes. That's all I want. Okay, this barrel is going the wrong way and it's flipping my hair up. We gotta turn it to the other side. I don't want my hair flipped up. I like more of an in curl. I think the section of hair I did is too big and it's just kind of giving me kind of like, oh, that is volume though. I don't know. I need to look at some actual product videos to see if this, is this supposed to be like, let's do a really small section. Cause so far it's not really curling my hair. It's just bumping my hair. Oh, there we go. Again, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I think it still looks good. Like to me, this is the kind of hairstyle I like. I like the middle part with the kind of little bit of shape at the ends. This is what I like. Um, I just need to watch some videos so I can see exactly what, what I'm doing wrong. Cause I'm liking what I'm seeing, but I feel like it's wrong. Like it's supposed to be doing more. Also, I want to try this little piece because I think it's supposed to smooth flyaways. Can you guys see? Okay, 
you can kind of see my flyaways, but not really. Let's see if we can try to get some of those. All right, I just need to learn how to use this thing. It's getting crazy, but I don't know if I see any difference. I don't have a lot of flyaways. Did that make my flyaways worse? I don't know. I feel like I just like the way my hair looks because it's a fresh flat iron. Maybe I should try this. Let's try this attachment. I'm just trying everything. Let's get crazy. Usually I don't like this kind of attachment because I always think that these little bristle things are pulling my hair out. So let's try a piece kind of in the top back. And I've never used kind of like, well, recently I tried to use a spiral brush, but I'm just not that good at it. Hmm. Let me uh, read the instructions really quick. Uh, Pre-styling, before curling, rough dry hair until, well I wouldn't, yeah I would never be this person that's just like free blow drying their hair down. I'm more of a down here person. All right, so barrels. Take a section of hair and bring barrel towards tip. Hair will start to wrap around barrel. Move styler towards head, no need to twist. Hold hair for 15 seconds until dry. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to use it when my hair is wet. No, I want to use it as like a dry curl. Oh, okay. Move styler towards head, no, okay, we read that part. Press cold shot for five to 10 seconds to set curl, set off to release. To change curl direction, rotate the cold tip. For shaping, smoothing, we use a little brush, okay. And then for the smoothing piece, all right, I get it. So my hair's supposed to be slightly damp when I go to do this. I don't know about that. I don't think I'm gonna use it that way. I like the little bit of body that it gives me on dry hair. I feel like this looks good. Uh, for my hair, I don't feel like me wetting it to curl it is productive like that Why would I take the time to get my hair all nice and smooth and flat ironed just to go in and try to curl it with this that just doesn't seem This doesn't seem right for me personally um, I Like the little curved in body that it gives my hair. I like this I don't know if I could say I can. It's definitely gonna take me a little bit more time to fully understand how to use this thing. But first time out the box, I'm liking it. I feel like it blow dries my hair good. Yeah, it's more just doing like a nice bump, a nice little bump, which I feel like is good for the hairstyles I like to do. It's probably doing a little bit of straightening as well, but since my hair's already straight, it's hard to tell. I guess I'll be able to better tell on a day where I've been outside, it's humid, and things got a little crazy. Okay, so look at this piece of hair. You see this piece is not really the straightest. There's a little bit of texture there. Not really all that straight from like this back end. So let's try the wrap on this piece. It wasn't even recording. Oh my God. I don't know what was cut, what happened. So I don't know. I'm just gonna do another piece because I don't know what happened, but it did look a lot better. Let me see if I can find another piece that's not all that straight. Most of the pieces in the back of my head because I get like, uh, I'm tired of straightening my hair. I want to be done. So the back of the head is never looking all that good. Okay, here's a piece. No real shape to it. You can still see there's, it's not super straight. There's a little bit of texture there. Let's try with this piece. There we go. We're starting to get the hang of it. 
So what I'm doing is I'm holding the barrel in one place for longer and then I'm also doing a cold shot before I turn it off. And as we can see, I mean I can't really turn my head and show you, but yeah, we got a little curl going there. Not really my style. I would uh, want to pull that out a little bit. But as you can see, it's obviously like the ends look better. It's not like so crazy as it was. I don't know. I like this. I don't know if it's like $600 like, but to me, this is worth it because I get to blow dry my hair. Um, I get to add a little body to it. There's different little attachments I can try. It's cute. Um, Cause before I never curl my hair because I didn't really know how to. I have a little crimper that I have, but this is great. Does like little to no heat damage or it just has some heat damage protection to it. I don't know, Dyson technology. I do kind of want to get the flat iron. I do, but I don't know if I can justify buying the flat iron at the moment since I did just get the air wrap, but I do want the flat iron that matches because it's so pretty. Like just little chromey color, just have the matching set. I love a good set and it matches my hair, but okay. Um, final thoughts, I like spending the money. You can spend the money if you want to based off of what you saw here. I had a great time. I love this thing. I don't have any regrets. I love it. And yeah, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you made it this far, leave a hair flip emoji and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.